Hello. Today you're going to learn how to record your class observation results into my registry as an approved assessor for Great Start Quality. The first thing you'll have to do is log into your my registry account. You'll see here on the screen that we have um, what looks to be your, um, your my registry account. This is my test account. It's named assessor role. Up here would be your name. What's going to happen is when you are assigned to a program as an approved assessor, you will receive an email. So here I am over in my email. I received an email that says approved assessor assignment. And underneath that email, it said it has a great start quality header. And it tells me I've been assigned as an approved observer to um, an organization. I have 30 days to input my scores into that uh, program and those scores are used to calculate the program's quality level. You'll see in this email as well, um, an email address to email back to if you have any questions about it, um, as well as a link to log into your account and a link to the Great Start Quality website if you have any other questions. So you can go ahead and log into your account here. As you saw before, we're already logged in. Um, so I'll just go from here. So underneath my, assess my, my name here, I am going to click the down arrow and underneath here, I want to go to approved assessor and this is where I'll find all of my assignments. As I click in approved assessor, it will take me to all the programs that I'm currently assigned as an, an approved assessor to. I'll click on the one from the email, which is acres of play. And from here, it's going to show me an overview of the organization. It'll show me the location as well as the contact. And then if I scroll down, it will show me the, the classrooms um, that we have for this, um, for this program. I'm looking for a pre-K classroom that is going to have a class assessment um, associated with it. And right there, I'll go ahead and click view. And whenever I view this, I can edit. Um, the assessment as well. You'll see that I've already inputted some of the information in here, but we have the date that the assessment was completed. I, I wanna look right here and make sure too that I am the assessor that's assigned to this. So I'm going to look for my name in this space marked assessor. So in this, in, since this is my classroom, I'm going to go ahead and say, um, input the date that the assessment was completed as well as the time began and ended as well as the language, if there was one other than English that was used. You can go ahead and save and continue after that. And then that gets us into the first cycle of the class uh, observation. You'll wanna put your start and end time in here, as well as the number of children and adults present in the room and the names of the staff present. And then you're just going to go ahead and follow the program down here, and you can enter in all of your information that you've already recorded. This is really just a data recording tool. Once you're done, go ahead and hit save and continue. And that will save all of the information that you've that you've completed. And it also takes me into the next cycle that I've already already entered. So you'll see that I've put in a start and end time for the cycle, as well as all of the rest of the information. Wherever we get to this one, we can either remove the cycle or we can add a new cycle. Let's go ahead and do that. And that takes us into cycle number three. So at cycle number three, I'll put in my start and end times, as well as the number of children present and adults, staff names that were present in the classroom, and then the information about what was covered. And again, this is all test data. So I'm just going to fill in the blanks here. You will put in the data that you've already recorded. And at that point, if this is my last cycle, um, I'll say cycles complete. If it's not, I can go back and work on my other ones, or I can, again, remove the cycle or add a new one if I need to. So I'll say my cycles are complete. I've completed this data entry. And once you say your cycles are complete, 
you'll see that um, the system does uh, calculate your scores for you. You can add notes to any of the any of the lines that you have right here, as well as adding files um, to the observation itself. Once you're com once you've completed it, you can click on submit for approval. Um, once you have submitted the observation tool, it will no longer be available for you to edit. So please make sure that everything is complete, that you've entered in all of your notes, any scans you may need, um, or any other evidence that you may need. Um, you've already uploaded all of it because once we do submit this, unfortunately, we can't go back in the system and, and retrieve the report. So I will say that I am all complete. I'm going to go ahead and submit this for approval. And it does give you the prompt that says, you know, you're submitting this for approval and you can't go back and make changes. So that's where you would hit submit. I hope that this has been a helpful tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please contact us at Great Start to Quality. Thank you.